everywhere you turn in Abu Dhabi, you see progress, you see innovation, and you see achievement. The buildings and architecture are absolutely stunning. Almost makes you think you've arrived in the future. In the last several years, we've seen a real commitment to building state-of-the-art schools and facilities. If you know a billion things, well, try to do as much as you can in two minutes. All of that is in support of this desire for excellence and ensuring that it is what you do in these facilities and the programs that you do create and develop for students that is going to have the lasting impact on their lives. Okay, this next activity, we're going to present it in a purposeful way. In year three of Vanderbilt's Project 2, this group session gave us an opportunity to see how the original cohort can really serve as expert mentors and guides for a new generation of aspiring school leaders. And they served as table leaders, uh, as facilitators, and as mentors to the VPs at that session. It provided the aspiring principals really the opportunity to ask um, very practical, concrete um, questions. And it kind of building a whole shared uh, to really help them figure out how they might want this is in their own school. And we need to change the evaluation culture to make it more. They're really thinking through these situations and asking about ramifications of decisions and those type of things. And you know, what's in the best interest of the kids? Because you are asking some very good questions. Because you care about the children in your schools. You want it to be better. So much of the work of leadership is a journey. When the Abu Dhabi uh, school leaders visited us for 10 days in Nashville, uh, they were exposed to, this is the way we do school. I cannot overstate the value. The participants had the opportunity to really see and experience what we've been talking about. So it really made the abstract concrete. We celebrate the difference. We visited private schools. Um, we want to make this the hub of the school. Public schools. Uh, students have to choose to come to our school. Charter schools, academic magnet schools. We visited some all-boys schools and some all-girls schools. And then if they get a 2.5 or lower. And could see in different contexts and different environments how principals are living out best practice halfway around the world. To see all those pieces and, may, and put maybe a new mindset for them of how they could begin to incorporate some of those ideas into their own country. It's a pleasure to be with you. When the Abu Dhabi uh, school leaders visited us for 10 days in Nashville, we would like to make this uh, as interesting and useful as possible. Uh, they were exposed to 12 targeted sessions. Please stop me at any time, because you know I love it when you stop and you ask questions. We start with a framing of an issue. So for example, when we were helping principals, we talked about the elements of effective feedback. Yeah, to think, <laughs> to think and well, to change the culture there. Because and to practice, always with peers first, and then in their schools with their coach. And you'll see them, you'll notice them as we go into classrooms. And earlier this month, we see Principal Sherry taking a learning walk with several members of our VP uh, group in the context of a group coaching session. So all I asked every grade level, do as you like with it, make it yours, just put up the outcomes. When you can have these sort of conversations within the context of a real school, we see this is where the real learning emerges. You can use any observation tool, and I have this in English and Arabic. Because we're not talking about leadership in theory, but we're talking about leadership in practice. They saw evidence of just how much great leadership can really develop great schools and 
the empowerment and the joy that comes with that type of work. Their schedule was very tight, but they were so hungry, they just took it all in. The knowledge, the school visit, everybody that we encounter, we learn something from them. The visitors from Abu Dhabi were so open and they were so aware. I thought that I have a lot of knowledge, but in this trip, I, I find that I'm just in the beginning. They fully engaged in this experience, this pilgrimage. I feel this trip changed my life because it changed my way of thinking. I know that one of the ladies had said that this had been almost like a spiritual journey for her. Before Nashville, I was a different person than now. Would you believe me? It was like a spiritual renewal, like I come back with new energy and new purpose. I became a better leader in that. And I can say it with confidence, I'm so much better in what I'm doing. It was just an energizing experience and filled them with hope for what they can do to go back and continue to spark reform and growth in their country.